Hello my lovely YouTubers. So I know I look a little um, under the weather and I am. I've been sick for the past uh, two or three days. So I'm staying in tonight and just recording a bunch of videos. So don't be alarmed if I look like this in the next two or three videos. Um, it's just I'm filming them all in one night so I don't have to worry about them and I have got some inspiration. So um, as you can tell this video is about getting clear skin. now. I can't sit here and tell you exactly how to get clear skin because I have very different skin than probably most of you, but I can tell you what I've used and what I think works as far as um, products, uh, as in like you should use this, but I can't give you specific names of products that you should necessarily use, but I can tell you what I use and um, you know something you might be interested in trying out. So the first thing I do is I wash my face and I've been using the L'Oreal um, Go360 Clean and this is the um, exfoliating scrub and as you can tell it has the little beady things in it and it has this little um, brush thing that pops out and I love this I think it's the best thing ever and it just feels so great like on your face it just it feels awesome it feels so great. I love it. Um, however, I don't use this as, like, I don't count this necessarily as an exfoliator because it's so gentle that it really doesn't, you know, get as deep down as I need for an actual exfoliant. But um, for washing my face and removing my makeup, um, it does do, does do, for actually cleaning my face, it does do a really good job. So this is what I've been using. I will be doing a review on this. Um, after I do that, um, if I'm yeah. still feeling a little... If I'm feeling a little bit oily or um, if I don't have time to wash my face, I do use an astringent. And the one that I love and been using for years, my sister actually uses the same one too, is the Clean and Clear Sensitive Skin. And you can see it's the blue one. Um, oops, as I drop it. And I just use that on a little round swab. These are from the Christmas tree shop. I got them for a dollar. It's a dollar for a hundred. So I just use one of those. And I do it all over. Also, if you have... Um, acne on your back, wow, maybe I'll do a video on that too, but if you have acne on your back, using this with one of these like twice a day will improve the look of it. Check it out. Clean and clear. Sensitive skin. I like the sensitive skin one. If you don't have sensitive skin, maybe not. I don't have sensitive skin, but I like it anyways. Anywho, I digress. So when I do exfoliate, I use the same... Uh, the uh, St. Ives Apricot Scrub. This one is Blemish and Blackhead Control, which I think just means it has, yeah, it has 2% silica, silica acid. It's for oily slash acne prone skin, it says down at the bottom. I don't know. It looks like the, like the same, like the original. That's what it looks like. I love it. I use it um, when I remember, when I feel like I need, my skin needs to be brightened up. Um, you know, maybe once or twice a week. Nothing big. Um, I do use a daily moisturizer. You guys know how much if you follow me. If you subscribe, which you should, you guys know how much I love um, Olay Complete. And this is just the normal one. And it has SPF 15. I never, ever, ever um, leave the house without putting this on first because I do not want wrinkles. Um, I do have another lotion that I use and this is kind of a newer lotion um, and it's a, I don't even know how to say that, it's like um, luminin, whatever, and it's a vitamin, so it has like vitamin C and stuff in it and it's age defying day cream. Uh, this also has SPF 15 in it and if you look you can see kind of like how thick that is. And for me, that's a little bit too thick for day to day. So if my skin's really dry, especially in the winter, I love using this. I also use this because it's an age-defying lotion. I use this around my eyes just because I really worry about wrinkles. And I probably shouldn't because I'm only 20, but I do because I read somewhere that you should start doing wrinkle prevention in your 20s. And I know I just turned 20, but for some reason, it freaks me out. So I use that. Um, I also do for like deeper cleansings, I love the, I'm addicted to these, the nose strips, the Biore Ultra Deep Cleaning Nose Strips. Um, I love these so much. If you've never used them before, 
use them, start using them, you will be amazed and disgusted at all of the little blackheads and whiteheads that this stuff will take out of your nose. And it doesn't hurt as much as you think it does. Just rip it off like a band-aid. Oh, when you rip these off, don't rip, you know how you rip it from set, like you peel it off? Don't do that. That's not how you're supposed to do it. Very few people actually read the directions. What the directions say is that you loosen it from the sides and you pull the sides. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you're supposed to do it. So read the directions, people. Um, another thing I use, oh, um, I always use SPF. This is SPF 15, though, so it's a little bit weak. If I know I'm going to be in the sun, um, like out on the beach volunteering or out, you know, when I'm nannying or whatever I'm doing, I always, always use or have in my bag or in my car, um, Neutrogena Sensitive Skin, um, Sunblock Lotion, and it's SPF 30, and it's, um, it has UV, it pre prevents against UVA and UVB rays, um, and it's like for your face, which I love. I don't know if it's oil free. It's, um, yeah, it's oil free. It says on the back that it's oil free. And it's, uh, number one, dermatologist recommended. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. It doesn't make my skin super greasy. It's not, you know, it just looks like regular sun lotion, but it doesn't feel like sun lotion. I don't think it smells like sun lotion. It has a little bit of a sun lotion, but it's not, you know, it's not super greasy. It lasts. I might keep this on and I reapply it. Um, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Keep it in my car most of the time. What else do I use? Oh, when it comes to removing makeup... I use the CVS, okay, so this is a total ripoff of the Neutrogena, Neutrogena, I promise I can speak, the Neutrogena um, makeup remover, this is the, yeah, this is the ripoff, this is the CVS version, and it's just eye makeup remover, oil free, gent gentle and effective, removes waterproof mascara, and it says it, it's comparable to Neutrogena oil free eye makeup remover. I've tried the Neutrogena one, and they work the same, people. And this one is probably, I want to say it's at least $3 cheaper. So I don't understand why people are spending that much money when you can just buy the CVS brand. Also, eye makeup, makeup remover is different from eye makeup remover. Eye makeup remover is not for your whole face. It's just for your eyes. Just putting that out there. Um, another thing I do that seems to really help my skin is I drink a lot of tea. And not only tea, but I drink a lot of, like, green tea. So this is, like, actually I actually haven't tried this yet. This is Earl Grey Green. And that's big a lot. Why I love green tea and I love Earl Grey tea. So the two combined should be yummy. And then this is just Lipton Green Tea. Well, Lipton Green Tea with honey. I love green tea. I love tea. If you have a lot of acne, drinking tea... Um, will help you or should help you clear out your skin. If you stop drinking stuff like soda and you start drinking stuff with antioxidants in it, it will help. Also, I learned recently, if you are a big coffee drinker, for those of you that are in your 20s that still get acne, if you are a big coffee drinker, like more than two cups a day, you could, in fact, be destroying your skin. So, if you're in your 20s and you're having acne breakouts, you should try just for just for like a week. Stop drinking coffee and just chug green tea like your life depended on it. And if that doesn't work, then I'm wrong. But it should work. Your, should, your, your skin should start to clear up within a week if you stop drinking coffee altogether. Even decaf. Even decaf. Stop drinking decaf. No coffee. No coffee. Drink green tea. That should help clear up your skin. Um, that's it for now. I'm going to go film a review, and that will be next week. So I hope you look forward to it. I am so glad that you took the time out of your day to watch this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.